viewers to another episode on SOG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section A of the August 2022 Science Paper 2, which is basically the standard O-level chemistry. So in the first part, we looked at question 1 through 5. So in this part, we are going to start with question 6. So let us move straight to question 6. The following diagram shows the structure of an atom. What is the proton number and nucleon number of the atom? So basically, what is key is the nucleon number. So the nucleon number is also known as the mass number, also known as the atomic mass number. So these refer to uh, the total number of protons and neutrons in a given nucleus of an atom. So in an atom which is a uh, neutral charged, the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So what we do in this case a P in this case is the number of protons. So the sum of P so P1, P2, P3. So this is basically 3. Then you notice that also electrons 1, 2, 3. They are equal to 3. So meaning these are neutral charged. Because protons are the positive charge, then electrons are the negative charge. So if you look at the options, we start with the proton number. We, not, we notice that we have 3 protons. So C out and D out because these are six which are not correct. So remain with option A and B. So between A and B, which one is correct? Then we come to a nucleon number, which is the total number of protons and neutrons in a given nucleus of an atom. So we know that protons are three. Then neutrons are in one, two, three, four. So they are 4. When we add this, we get a 7. So 7 is the correct answer. So we notice that 4 is incorrect. So 7, this is the correct. So B is the correct answer. Let us look at question A7. Lithium occurs as a mixture of two stable isotopes. A lithium 6 with a percentage abundance of 7.5% and lithium 7 with percentage abundance of 92.5. The relative atomic mass of lithium is, so basically the question requires us to find the relative atomic mass. So the, the relative atomic mass is given by summation of uh, basically percentage abundance multiply by uh, basically the mass number of a given isotope. So we multiply by mass number. So when you sum this, what we get is basically the relative atomic mass. So we know that 7.5% um, of lithium exists as uh, lithium 6. So which is this one, then plus the other one, which is a 92.5%, exists as lithium-7. The mass number there is 7, or the nucleon number. Then we multiply this, we are going to get 7.5% multiplied by 6, we are going to get 0 0.45, then plus 92.5% multiplied by 7, we are going to get 6.4. 75. When you add this, we are going to get basically 6.925 as in the answer. So when you look at the options, the options are given to one decimal place. So since 2 is less than 5, this just ends to be 6.9. If 2 was in 5, we are going to have a 7. So basically, C is the correct answer. We move to question A8. Magnesium forms magnesium with a positive two charge ions. 
the number of electrons in a magnesium ion is so we are interested in the number of electrons this is what the question requires us to do so what we do is basically remember a positive charged ion means that atom or element has lost some electrons then the magnitude of the charge tells us how many electrons so in this case magnesium has lost two electrons that's why it's remaining to be positively charged remember the number of protons which are positively charged are equal to the number of electrons which are negatively charged so if you take away the electrons then the net charge is positive so let us go to uh, the periodic table and see the proton number of magnesium so magnesium is here so uh, the proton number is 12 so if it has a positive charge of 2 it means it has lost 2 electrons to end up with 10 electrons so we have 10 electrons then 12 so 10 electrons which are negatively charged so 10 negatives then we have 12 positive so the net is basically positive 2 so basically the number of electrons remaining negative charge should be 10 so 10 is the answer which is b so note that if an atom gains electron then it means it has more negative charge than positive so it's going to have a net negative charge if it has given away electrons which is normally the case for metals it will remain with a positive charge let us look at question A9. Which elements exist as a monoatomic molecules at room temperature and pressure? So the key word in this case is monoatomic molecules. So the word mono means one. Then the word di means two. So what element exists as a single molecule in its form? so these elements are basically group O elements so group O elements they either have two electrons in the outermost shell or 80 electrons in the outermost shell so when you go to the periodic table you see these elements so these elements are the ones that are called innate gases so they exist as an atom on this one because they have got a complete full outermost shell so we have helium neon argon going down so what we need to go go and look for the options that contain only group O elements so what we have we have a helium collect argon collect neon collect so a is in collect if you look at b a fluorine is not collect but T, these two are collect if you look at c chlorine is in collect oxygen is in collect only helium is collect then hydrogen collect these two are collect so a is the collecting answer so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, these four marks so please join me in the next episode as we start with question 10